Good day, dear students! This is your mom, Rachel Ann A. Enriquez, for our Lesson 3 in Empowerment Technology entitled Advanced Word Processing Skills, which is Mail Merge. After going through this video, you are expected to use some advanced capabilities of Microsoft Word commonly used to increase productivity and efficiency. Effectively use these features to help improve the productivity of an organization through maximizing the potential of Microsoft Word. And lastly, to create form letters or documents for distribution to various recipients. But before that, let us discuss what is Microsoft Office or simply Office. It is an integrated suite of business software applications for Windows and Macintosh computers. It was first announced by Bill Gates on August 1, 1988. It is a bundled set of productivity applications and the first version of Office contained Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. Over the years, Office applications have grown substantially closer with shared features and also it was initially released 30 years ago November 19, 1990 to be exact and the latest office now is Office 365 which is released 4 months ago June 8, 2021 to be exact Here is the question before we continue the discussion Have you used a typewriter? And what is the difference between these two, a typewriter and a Microsoft Word? Simple lang, di ba? When we use the typewriter, kasalanan dito ang magkamali kasi hindi mo na ito pwedeng burahin kapag naitype mo na. Unless, i-overwrite mo siya. And i-compare naman natin ito sa Microsoft Word. Through this, you can edit, you can create text, copy, paste, format, etc. Ang daming functions, di ba? Kaya ngayon, pag-usapan na natin ano nga ba ang Microsoft Word. Specifically, Microsoft Word 2016. Dahil ito ang madalas na ginagamit natin ngayon. Word 2016 is a word processor that allows you to create various types of documents such as letters, papers, flyers, and faxes. Now, let us proceed to the different screen or document elements. In Microsoft Word and other Microsoft Office products, the file tab is a section in the Office ribbon that gives you access to file functions. For example, from the file tab, you can access the open, save, close, properties, and recent file options. Nandun din yung uh, printing option. And then, we have the ribbon and it is located below the quick access toolbar and the title bar. It comprises seven tabs, the home, insert, page layout, references, mailing, review, and view. And then let's have the title bar. This is a horizontal bar at the top of an active document. This bar displays the name of the document and the application. And at the right end of the title bar is the Minimize, Maximize, and Close buttons. Then we have the Status bar. And it is a horizontal bar at the bottom of an active window that gives details about the document like the number of pages and the number of words. We have the View toolbar. It is a toolbar that enables, adjusts, and displays different views of a document to read mode, print layout view, and outline view. Then we have this zoom controls and it magnifies or reduces the contents in the document window. Then here is the quick access toolbar and it is a customizable toolbar at the top of an active document. By default, the Quick Access Toolbar displays the Save, Undo, and Repeat buttons and is used for easy access to frequently used commands. To customize this toolbar, click on the drop-down arrow and select the commands you want to add. And then lastly, we have the Ruler. 
and it is used to change the format of your document like aligning the text, tables, graphics, and other elements. So here is the view of the quick access toolbar and uh, the ribbon contains the different group of commands. And now we will be discussing advanced functions in Microsoft Word. Number one is mail merging, number two is generating labels, and number three is embedding images. Mail merge is the automatic addition of data like names and addresses from a source to letters and envelopes. So, ginagamit ang mail merge para maiwasan natin yung paggawa ng multiple documents ng may pare-parehas lang naman na content. This is commonly used to quickly produce and send information like newsletters, resume, and brochures to various recipients. The concept here is to create a document that will be combined to another document. Through this, the letter or envelope can be customized for a specific recipient. There are two components in order to achieve the goal of mail merge. The first component is called Word Document. It basically contains the main message and the placeholders. Placeholders are the data fields that will be created in data file. And those data fields will represent the actual stored data. The data file is the second component. This is where the data that needs to be merged to the Word document is placed and maintained. The next part of this video is the demonstration on how to create and use mail merge. Suppose I will create a letter to invite my friends to attend my birthday celebration. I will save this document to desktop and name it with mail merge demo. I will type in the content of the letter. Notice that I put first name, last name, and address. They are temporary terms I used which are to be replaced with placeholders later. I will press Ctrl S to save this document. What I just created is what we call Word document. Let's now proceed in creating the second component, which is the data pile. I will click the mailing stub, then press the Select Recipients button. This will show three options. I will choose Type a new list since I don't have a data file yet. There are predefined columns here already, and I will remove and change them by going to the Customize Columns button. I will select one by one the field names that are not needed and press the Delete button. Once done, click the OK button, and I will now enter my guest's data. I will click the New Entry button to add. Click OK once done. The Save dialog box will appear. After clicking the OK button, find the location where you saved the Word document. They should be in the same directory. Therefore, I will save this in desktop and the file name is Guests. At this point, I am now ready to merge the data file to this Word document. I will highlight this text which is to be replaced by a placeholder. After that, I will go to the Insert Merge Field button. Notice that the field names of the data file are already here. I will choose First Name. Look at the te text that now appears on the document. It has left angle bracket and right angle bracket symbols that identify a placeholder. I will replace the next temporary word with the correct placeholder, which is last name. I will do the same steps for the remaining placeholders. Once we completed the merging, we can preview the output by clicking the Preview Results button. I can move to the Next and Previews by pressing the appropriate buttons here. Once finished reviewing, 
I can press the Finish and Merge button to edit individual documents, print documents, and send email messages. I hope this video helped you in understanding the mail merge features of document processing software. Again, this is Mom Rachel Ann A. Enriquez, your empowerment technology teacher. Thank you for listening. Goodbye!